Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Myself, Dr. Akash, and I have secured a rank of 1912 in NEET PG 2025. Also, I have secured a rank of 722 in INICT November 24. In this video, I am going to share the strategy which I have used during my INICT exam. So, stay tuned and to get such informative videos, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Let's start. Now, the first step is take a break. See, after NEET PG, I was tired because we were preparing for NEET PG at least one and a half years. That's insane. We had to be focused for that long duration without any break. So after NEET PG, I took a break for a few days, traveled to a coastal town. It refreshed my mind. So if you are also tired after NEET PG, please take a break. Post exam burnout is normal. If you have already taken a break, now get back to study. I started again with sources which I had used during NEET PG. Don't start with a new source even if you got a bad rank and you are doubting that your source is wrong. Don't change the source before INICT. After break, I had 78 days in my hand. So I had to plan accordingly. See, my whole strategy was around BTR during NEET PG. So I will take BTR as example in my case. BTR is such a source that you can revise in few days entirely. And in last week of NEET PG exam, I had revised in 4 days. So the next thing I did is that I revised entire BTR 1.0 in 10 days. Now I had 66 days. Meanwhile, Jainam ma'am launched BTR 2.0. I thought to watch that too. So from 66 days, I started new cycle with BTR 2.0. It's more concise and includes all the information of BTR 1.0 and bonus BTR combined. I annotated whole BTR 2.0 myself before I9. It took time but it was worth it. Now if you are using BTR, you don't need to annotate anything nowadays. You will be getting annotated notes plus unannotated notes with your BTR plan. See for I9. System wise approach is really helpful and BTR is a boon for that. I didn't read first aid, but it was difficult for me to do entire each system at a stretch. I had started with one system cardio, then I did surgery and ortho. After that I read respiratory system and then I read biochemistry FMT and so on. This was the schedule which I followed. You can pause the video and can take a screenshot. In morning, I had solved a custom module of PYQ 50 questions. As in INICT, there is four set of 50 questions. After dinner, I used to solve another custom module of 50 questions of only GT questions. As GTs include new good questions, I tried to solve each module in 28 minutes so that I had at least 17 minutes to revise during exam. This habit helped me a lot during exam. I was not able to follow strict schedule for BTR TNB as I was following my own schedule. I used to listen BTR TND during dinner time or before going to sleep. Every day one TND. And I clicked photos of question explanation of which I thought important. I gave only two GTs. Marrow INI GT1 and Marrow INI mock. I gave INI mock 28 days before exam. If you have more GTs remaining in your hand, you can give another GT 15 days before exam. It's better not to give any GT in last two weeks. See, as I attended all GTs of marrow available before NEET PG, I had only two GTs remaining. If you have more GTs, you can give GTs in two weeks interval. 28th day before exam i gave marrow mock on 11th october see i got 129 correct then i gave three days in medicine i did medicine in a day module integrated infection and integrated emergency from btr compiled module after that i gave three days to pharmacology i did pharma rr pharma compiled module from btr within this i did specially tb and HIV drugs and 
ANS drugs. Then I gave three days to physiology. I did physiology RR and graph class from BTR compiled module. After that, I gave three days to pathology. I did patho RR and along with that, I did histopathology and integrated cancer from BTR compiled module. I have marked day 15 because you should give last GT on that day before exam. After that, don't give any GT. Next day, I revised entire medicine. On day 13, I revised surgery, OBG and pediatrics. On day 12, I revised patho, pharma, physio, biochem. On 11 days before exam, I revised all the notes under integrated system. On day 9, I revised short subjects. On day 8, I revised GT questions, patho micro images of Preeti ma'am, OBG images from Shakshi ma'am notes and surgery images from marrow notes. Now you can watch these videos on YouTube or when Preplader and Marrow will upload image based discussion on YouTube just before exam, you can watch that too. In the last week, I revised all volatile stuff. On day 7, I revised compiled modules like formula class, histopathology images, scores, classification and cancer module. On day 6, I revised bookmark PYQ, image based question and new drugs. On day 5, I revised all BTR TNDs which photos I had taken before. I watched anatomy one shot revision, histology, cadaveric image discussion video by Ashwani sir available on YouTube. I also did PSM updates. Next three days, I revised BTR entirely as I had annotated all the important points from various resources in BTR only. In the last day before exam, I revised most high yield stuff like biochem cycles, pediatric milestones, neonatology, reflexes, AVG formula, biostat formula, BNS, toxicology, parasite eggs, neurotransmitter, anti-cancer drugs, monoclonal antibodies, targeted therapy, fracture name and classification and and see my result in exam I got 155 correct so that's it for today in the next part I will tell you which are the topics you need to do in depth for INICT please share with your friends thanks for watching